Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. I've tried cooking corn on my grill quite a few times, and to be honest, I've never been very happy with the way it turned out. Until yesterday. I cooked some uh, corn on my Weber grill yesterday for Memorial Day, and it turned out really, really good. So let me show you how I did this. I have a few ears of corn here, and this is all I did to prepare these. Just uh, take the husk off, and you don't have to break them in half, but yesterday we had a lot of people, so or a lot of food rather, so I figured that a whole ear of corn might be a little too much for some people, so I just broke them in half like that. And then I just take some olive oil and rub the olive oil into the corn like that. And that's basically just to kind of keep it moist because I'm gonna cook it on the grill indirectly just like that. I'm not gonna wrap it in foil or anything. So uh, this is how I did it yesterday, and it turned out really, really good. Now, if you don't have olive oil, I guess you could use any type of cooking oil, because like I said, it's just to kind of keep the corn moist. So let me do the rest of those, and I'll meet you guys outside at the grill. All right, I'm all set. My coals look good. I'm using lump charcoal. This is cowboy lump charcoal. I usually use royal oak, but I couldn't find it. So that's cowboy lump charcoal. Um, I have the corn cooking in directly on this side of the grill, so basically it'll be just like uh, cooking it in an oven. So uh, actually, that's how I came up with this method of cooking corn. I did it in my toaster oven, and I thought, well, let's just take it outside to the grill. So, and I also have uh, some butter in this little saucepan, and I put a little bit of seasoning salt in there. So when these are ready to take off, pull off, I'm just gonna brush a little bit of that butter onto each one of them. But for now, I'm just gonna get the lid on and let them cook. And this will probably take about half an hour. And I may have to open the lid and move them around a little bit. It's been about 20 minutes and these look really good. They look like they're cooking really evenly. So I just kind of rolled them over. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and get my butter on there now and let that start melting. And we'll get the lid back on and uh, be back in a few minutes. All right, it's been about 40 or 45 minutes and my corn looks done. So now I'm gonna start pulling it off. And as I pull it off, I'm just gonna brush some butter on it. My melted butter here. So uh, just put that in the bowl and brush each piece as I put it into the bowl. Just brush a little butter on that and um, when I'm done with all these, I'll just pour the rest of it in the bowl over the top of the corn. Now, I guess if you wanted to char this a little more, you could. Personally, I like it like this. I don't like it all brown or black looking. I think it's perfect just like this. Like I said, this is the best corn that I've ever cooked on the grill. And, uh, I really like it this way. Just a little bit of brown there gives it some color, but and a little bit of flavor, but I don't like it all burned. And so when I'm done with this, I'm just going to cover it with some plastic wrap or foil. That's what I did yesterday. And then by the time everybody got here and I cooked the hamburgers and hot dogs and all this, this probably sat in the bowl for about an hour. And it kind of just steamed because this metal bowl, when it was covered, it just kind of steamed the corn and it came out really, really tender. Everyone was like, you didn't wrap that in foil or anything? That turned out really good. I'm like, yeah, no, that's like the best corn I've ever cooked. So uh, um, let me finish this up and we'll take it in the house. My corn has been sitting in this bowl covered for about 45 minutes now and still pretty warm, but should be cool enough that I can take a bite without burning myself, hopefully. So let me grab a piece. Well, just like yesterday, it turned out very, very tender. It's nice and evenly cooked. It has a slight smoky taste, but not overwhelming. So like I said, best way I've ever cooked corn on the grill if you've had trouble cooking corn on the grill, give this way a try and see what you think. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.